the 1980s emerged a whole new global economic paradigm, what is called the neoliberal economic paradigm. And, in, and it came down here as what is called the structural adjustment program, which was really a revival of capitalism and the emergence and promotion of business and finance. In this new economic paradigm emerged what we call business and finance journalism. Business and finance journalism, if you traveled around Africa in the mid-late 80s, you'll find out that many new finance business newspapers emerged. And then when the airwaves were liberalized, you found radio programs coming at the tail end of news on business and finance. It's a new journalism that emerged with the emergence of the neoliberal economic paradigm. And it is growing with magazines and newspapers that have emerged to make serious contributions to um, economic development and so on. However, these uh, finance business publications promote big business especially financial enterprises and multinational setups, but give very little focus on the informal, small and medium uh, enterprises, and almost completely exclude the rural peasant economy and markets. In other words, the business financial news uh, publications and outfits are more concerned with big business than the nitty gritty of the businesses and economics of the people down there. Um, now, briefly on the Fourth Republic, where we are now, and the multi-party politics, pluralist political culture, media pluralism, and journalism today. The death of the party press. And you still see that some people are trying almost painstakingly to revive the statesman of old and other papers. There are some publications, uh, the New Democrat and so on and so forth. Nowadays, we don't see too much of them. But I think that essentially the party press is dead. The party press is death, dead. But there is the birth of political radio and the introduction of serial callers. And this is also accentuated by new entrants, well, I, I don't think they are very new, but political investors in media entering into the new media we have, that is radio and television, and therefore using this media to do propaganda or to do so-called, if you want to give it a, a more respectable name, political communication which is still dominated by personality attacks, insults, and so on and so forth. And in my estimation, the two people who are falling victim to this kind of thing most profoundly are Jerry John Rawlings and Nana Kufuado. They have been the biggest victims of political insult in our politics today. Of course, the biggest politically insulted personality has always been Kwame Nkrumah. But uh, in our time, these two people uh, have had the worst of the political communication that is now in the airwaves or have been in the airwaves for some time.